People think travel is expensive, but if you learn how to find cheap hotels, you can shave hundreds or even thousands of dollars off your travel bill. Today I'll show you four easy hotel booking tips that'll help you find cheap hotel deals like an expert. And we're not just talking about dinky budget hotels either. This works for luxury hotels as well. The tips are in order from least to most expensive, plus a bonus tip at the end. All of these tips have different use cases and they're all good to have in your tool belt even the small ones because in the end it all adds up. The first tip is to use apps. Now this one is incredibly simple. Lots of people like doing their travel research on the computer because you can open up loads of different tabs and compare different prices and things. But when it comes time to book, do it on the booking website's mobile app. More on which booking sites to use in just a second. Booking websites want the masses to download and get hooked on their mobile applications, so they often offer cheaper prices and different discounts that are mobile only. Some sites even offer extra discount codes for first time users when you download their app. Now you're not always gonna find mobile discounts available, but it's definitely worth checking. Also, if you're traveling with multiple people, you should check the prices on each person's account because for some reason, whenever my wife looks at her account, they offer more discounts and it's cheaper than when I log into my application and use it. Tip number two is Google Hotel Search. There are tons of different hotel booking sites out there like Booking, Agoda, Expedia, and some of these sites are stronger in certain countries compared to others. The prices between these apps are often similar, but not always. We tend to use Booking.com a lot because they often have really flexible cancellation policies, but that's not necessarily the best way to do it. We could be easily missing out on cheaper prices listed on other booking sites. Now it can be a pain to compare everything manually between the different sites, so if you're lazy, you can just use Google Hotel Search to compare everything instantly. Google Hotel Search is considered a meta search engine and so it searches all the different search engines at once and then it shows you the prices for each one all in one place. It's super handy but once in a while you'll find some bugs. For example, a couple times the photos that Google was showing for a property were actually for a different property so you have to be careful and double check but it's a good starting off point to kind of get an overview of all the different prices really fast. Speaking of Google, if you want to quickly learn how to find cheap flights using Google Flights, check out this video next. Tip number three is last minute deal sites. If you like to live on the wild side and plan at the last second, there's a bunch of different sites that claim to show you the best last minute deals. Some work better than others, but two notable websites are Priceline and Hotwire. The last minute deals on these sites are often between 20 and 70% off the normal price. For example, here's a few of the current deals right now on the Hotwire homepage. Also note this big section here that talks about discounts for using their mobile app. Anyway, these huge discounts come with one big catch and that is that you're booking a mystery hotel. They don't actually tell you the exact hotel that you're going to be staying at. They give you a star rating, reviews, a general rough location, and a description of the hotel, but they don't give you the actual name of the hotel. They do, however, give you three different options on the hotel that you could be buying, so you know that you're getting at least one of those three. There's a trick to narrowing it down and figuring out the exact hotel that you're gonna book on these mystery sites, and so make sure to subscribe and leave me a comment below if you want me to make that video. Anyway, the reason it's set up like this is because these big luxury hotel brands have open rooms that they need to fill, but they don't wanna just give out huge discounts to anyone because that would dilute the value of their hotel brand. And so they use these mystery hotels as a way to fill their open spots. Because of this, you'd think that the very best deals are on the last, last, last minute bookings, but I found that that's not actually always the case. I've even tried searching for hotels a couple months out on these last minute booking sites and it turns out the prices were still cheaper than what it would be on a normal site like Expedia. That said, some people just get weirded out by not being able to know 100% which hotel that they're booking and so for those types of people, I recommend this next option. The next way to find cheap hotels is rewards points. I did a whole nother video on how to use rewards points to find dirt cheap flights 
like my $5 flight from the US to Europe. So you can check that one out if you want a full step-by-step -step walkthrough on what the process looks like. But really the exact same idea applies to hotels. You open a rewards card and then use it for all your everyday purchases until you receive a huge sign-up bonus. Then your bonus points, which are often worth hundreds and sometimes even thousands of dollars, hit your account. Finally, you use these bonus points to book your hotel rooms instead of cash. Now, there are several different cards specific to different hotel brands like Marriott and Hilton and Hyatt, but there are also bank rewards cards where you earn more general points that you can transfer to each of these different brands, making it a lot more flexible. For example, Chase Ultimate Rewards, which you can earn with pretty much any Chase Rewards card, can be transferred to Hyatt, Marriott, or IMG hotels. This makes it easier for beginners who aren't super loyal to one brand or the other. Overall, this rewards point strategy is a great way to score cheap and free accommodation for more luxury travelers. But since we're more budget-minded travelers, we usually find cheap accommodation in other ways so that we can save our points for free flights. And that leads me to my bonus tip, which is to be flexible with your location. If you're dying to go on vacation, but you have a limited hotel budget, just choose a cheap country that has cheap hotels. For example, we were recently traveling in Spain and looking for hotels in Seville, Spain, and we couldn't find anything under 80 to 100 dollars that wasn't super far from the city center or had horrible reviews or something but if you're willing to float across the sea for a few hours down into morocco like we did you can find super cheap places that are really cool for example this one that had an epic view that we paid just 15 dollars per night or this other one that looked like it came straight out of a museum that costed just 20 bucks a night and included two big breakfasts now these are by no means five star resorts but they were super unique cool and unforgettable plus how can you argue with 15 bucks a night you can often negotiate even cheaper prices by booking your first night through a booking website and then extending your stay directly with the hotel just be careful when doing this in popular destinations or in high tourist season because the last thing you want is to try to extend and they're all booked out and you have to switch hotels. These are just a few of our tricks that we use to save money on travel. For even more cheap travel hacks that can save you thousands of dollars, check out this playlist next. See you guys, bye bye.